Alrighty. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Here we are. We're uh, skinning a snake that almost killed my dog. Well, not really killed her, but eh, fucked her up for a week or so. This is a sidewinder. Um, I really like the, the shape of the head and the horns. Um, so I'm going to try and see if I can skin all of it um, with just a pair of scissors. So, they're not even sharp scissors, they're just they're not sharp at all, they just leave dents. So, here we are, we're going to go up from the from the ass here. I like to go in from the side so I don't go right up the, the intestine. Now he's been in the refrigerator for a while, so don't know how he's going to smell. Oops. Do a little small snip like this. And then just go right up the center. I like using scissors because they're a little easier to control than a scalpel or a knife. It's like using two little knives. Just clasp and jump up together. Now we've got that part gone. Now we we'll go back to the, to the tail. Let's see if we can kind of separate out this stuff here. I just like to keep rolling it. And it just comes apart like that. I don't want to take it apart too quick. Keep it nice, even roll. No, you're going to have to scrape that. Oh, yeah. We'll scrape it later. Might even not have to. That looks pretty good. Now we're down to the to the gnarly part. Now, be careful when you pull here. You'll break it right off. Now, go back from the ass here. And just pierce right in with your scissors. Cut all the way down. Right under the skin. all the way down to where it needs to be. Now here's the tricky part. <clears throat> Get this little part right in here. I'm gonna slowly pull it apart. You might have to go back and roll the skin away from the meat back here. Get the slimy shit off my finger there. That might help. So we just keep rolling. Yeah, so we don't tear it apart too bad. There we go. Now we've got past the the ass and the where it, it the sphincter. The sp yes, that's the proper. <laughs> thank you, Rick. The sphincter. We have now cleared the sphincter from the uh, from the hide. So now we'll, I guess I can just scrape that later. Now what we're doing is working our way nice and slowly down to the end of the tail, right? Rolling it gently, there all the go. way 
down to the point. Now, when we get down here, leave a little meat because you don't want to snip off the skin right there. Just end up ruining all what you worked for. Now, you got a little bit of meat there, it's just gonna tenderize into jerky. <laughs> all right, so. Give you something to chew on. That's right, give something to chew on a little bit later. Now, now that we've got all the half of it done, <clears throat> we now proceed to the head. I guess we should probably snip the fangs off, huh? Mm. All right, so here's the, uh, there's the fangs that got my dog here. You wanna, wanna take a look, see? His little tongue out of the way. There you go. Well, if you'd hold it still. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Yep. Okay, so. Here he is, we're gonna snip them fangs off. Just to prevent me from getting stabbed. Looks like there's, looks like there's more than just two fangs. <laughs> there's a row of teeth under there. There's, there's a, there, yeah. And you know, when I opened it up, it was really slimy and moist and dirty. So, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is, we're going to peel the head away. Just a fly. Expose them little sacks right there. Now. All I'm doing is using uh, the scissors. I'm not cutting at all. I'm using the scissors more as a as a fulcum prying agent to pull. Tearing his eyelids off. Tearing his eyelids off. Thank you, Rick. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> the layman the, the layman description. <laughs> All right. You're probably gonna have to cut the eyes a little bit. Well, I think they're right there. Think so? Well, I got a knife right there. You can just cut the knife. Thank you. All right. Nice thing about hot metal: the snake sticks to it. <laughs> yeah, if we can just. I don't want to pull too hard. It'll... You might have to cut those little horns off. I'm gonna cut the little, there we go. Well, I mean, cut them from the skull or whatever. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I think I still left a little bit of his nostril yeah. on there. Well. Darn it. Well. Not too bad for my first facial skinning of a snake. <clears throat> now what we do is we take the hide straight from here. Oh. Have you ever used the, this colored antifreeze I before? I've never used this colored antifreeze before. So we're gonna find out what how it comes out a little bit later. We're gonna let this soak for a day or two. We're gonna let it in there and let it soak for a day or two. Put it in the refrigerator so it doesn't get moldy and slimy and start to create. Well, we had it hanging out here amongst the the fungus and the bacteria and the hantavirus and whatever also hung, <laughs> hangs out amongst us, the valley fever, the dead bodies that are buried here in the desert that are blowing around. <laughs> anyway, whatever. <clears throat> We're gonna let that hang out in the, in the refrigerator for a while. 
I'm gonna shake him up every now and then. And uh, after a couple days, he should be cured enough where we can pull him out and clean him off. He came pretty, seemed pretty clean except mm -hmm. for around the tail. Yeah, he wasn't very <laughs> fatty at all. So it, uh, that's how you skin a snake. That bit your dog. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Be safe.